Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Don Cooper. I'm the CEO of Innovator Industrial Services, and I'm your host today uh, on this API 653 uh, new repair methods webinar. So we're going to talk a little bit about surface prep requirements. As I mentioned, we've, we do follow the industry standards. So SSPC and NACE have put together these standards. Um, typically with high uh, volume applications, we're going to do a near white blast. That's an SP10. Um, if it were a smaller localized area where maybe we're doing a structural patch, then we can use SP11, which is a power tool cleaned bare metal. Now, in addition to the requirements of uh, SP10 or SP11, the critical milestone we're looking for is the anchor profile pattern that's been reached on the steel. This anchor profile pattern contributes to uh, a high strength bond and low transfer of that composite strengthening into, uh, into the tank. So we want to record that, we can quantify it, we can take replicating uh, film, take a reading, make sure we're above three, and then continue forward in the process. So an additional uh, requirement, if we're looking for a long-term repair, we would say anything longer than two years is considered long-term. Um, we highly recommend uh, performing chloride salt tests. Uh, soluble salts will de de deposit themselves on the exterior of a tank or even on the inside of the tank related to phosphates, nitrates, and sulfates. Um, those salts are not typically fully removed during the surface prep process, so we do recommend testing for that. Um, we've set a baseline target for 3 micrograms per square centimeter of detected salts on the surface. Um, that was adopted from the U.S. Navy when they looked at how coatings behave on uh, ships in the ocean. We thought it was a good standard to replicate here. So we have to get that surface clean. That provides the long-term bond adhesion without the possibility of delamination due to chloride attack and, and blistering. Now, during the installation, the certified installer will make sure the environmental conditions are suitable for the repair. Um, primarily making sure that the measured dew point um, is stays below the skin temperature or surface temperature of the tank by at least three degrees Celsius or five degrees Fahrenheit. That presents flash rust and uh, condensation from being trapped between the composite and that steel surface. 